Hi there, I'm James Dapache and this is Coffee and a Case Note. Team, today we're going to take a look at a scenario where we ask the question and we get an answer about when will a liquidator be personally liable for legal costs incurred in relation to litigation involving the company being liquidated. What are we talking about today? We've got company A who asserts that it is a secured creditor of company B. Company B is in liquidation. Company A provides the liquidator of company B with a proof of debt in relation to what company A says is its secured debt. It says, right, here's all the information sets out in the document many of you will be familiar with called the proof of debt, sets it all out. Company B's initial response via the liquidator is to give gentle indications that in essence, that debt is accepted as a secured debt. There's about 18 months at the start of the liquidation where the position is the liquidator says, yeah, 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 that's a secured debt. Now, one of company B's most important assets is a piece of land and company A has its debt secured or perhaps more accurately protected by way of a caveat. So company A has the benefit of a caveat over company B's land, the liquidator wants to sell it. And the liquidator says, hey, look, company A, could you just uh, remove that caveat to enable me to go ahead with the sale? And in short, company A says, yes. The sale's completed. And so then the liquidator is in funds. The liquidator has some money in the company. And it is only then that the liquidator's approach to the securedness, the security or otherwise, of company A's debt uh, becomes of interest. And he is no longer so ready to accept that the debt is indeed secured, save for a small sliver of that debt, a nominal sum. And what eventually happens is that company A is forced to litigate against company B in order to prove that the debt was in fact secured. That litigation happens, company A wins, and so company A has proved that the debt was secured. Congratulations, company A. Now, the question we're dealing with today is who pays company A's legal cost of those proceedings? Now, usually if you win UCPR rule 42.1 in New South Wales, if you win, the loser will end up paying at least a proportion of your legal costs. So who is to pay that proportion? Well, company A is a big creditor of company B's, and so company A doesn't necessarily want to suck all the money out of company B into itself. So what company A says is, we don't want company B to be liable for the costs. We want the liquidator personally to be liable for those costs. Now, it's only in unusual and extraordinary circumstances that an order like that is made because very often a liquidator is entitled to an indemnity from the assets of the company in relation to conduct undertaken uh, on behalf of or, or in the course of liquidating the company. And the reasons for that are fairly trite. Um, no one's going to take the job of being a liquidator if liquidators are being sued every day and are not entitled to an indemnity. But if a liquidator behaves unreasonably, then it is within the court's power to make an order of this kind, an extraordinary order, that the liquidator will her or himself personally bear those legal costs. And what the court did was work through those 18 months where the liquidator essentially, and I'm paraphrasing obviously, said, yeah, 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 it's a secured debt, then went back on that position and so provoked the litigation by going, on back on that, by going back on that position, and by so provoking that litigation, unre behaved unreasonably and caused all these costs to be incurred. And so what the court did was to look at the reversal of position, was to work through the way the litigation was conducted, was to work through the sometimes intemperate and angry exchanges between the parties, and to form a view that this was an appropriate moment where the legal costs of the litigation would not be visited on company B, but would be visited on company B's liquidator. 
I hope that quick note assisted you and I look forward to joining you again soon for another coffee and another case note. Cheers.